What's up guys, in this video I'll be going over the Pestilence LMG that we got with the Tidal Basin update. I was really excited to get this weapon and uh, well let's just get into it. The perks on this gun are very unique. Plague of the Outcast, after hitting an enemy 20 times, that enemy is inflicted with Plague of the Outcast. And when an enemy that has the debuff dies, they leave a big old cloud of poison that does 200% weapon damage per second for 10 seconds and inflicts Pestilence which reduces healing received by 50% for 10 seconds, and if you're inflicted with Pestilence and take enough damage to be downed, you are instantly killed instead. That debuff is removed if you are healed to full armor. The holstered perk means you gain 20% bonus armor for 5 seconds if you are inflicted with blind, bleed, or burning. Those perks all sound really nifty, especially Pestilence, right? No downing enemies, just straight up killing them in the DZ or conflict. But let's talk about that. As it sits, my Pestilence has 4.7k damage on it, with a couple of small buffs to LMG damage around 19%. So that right there should tell you how hard this thing will hit. But in case you were curious about how fast it kills, look at this. It takes a dumb amount of bullets to put down a, well, anything really, but killing an elite with this is probably the most impractical thing you can possibly do, and I've got 41% damage to elites on this particular setup. So basically, the Plague of the Outcast is what this thing is supposed to do, right? It's supposed to be a primer. You'll put bullets in with this gun and kill it with something different, causing that big cloud of AoE damage and inflicting another debuff. That sounds good. That sounds like something you could start to use tactically. However, that's a lot better in theory than it actually is. If you're using this in PvE, I've got some questions for you. Like mainly, why? You can prime enemies, sure, but all you're doing is inflicting 200% of the most underwhelming damage of any gun that I have so far shot in the Division 2. There is no downing enemies in PvE, so there's no use for that. They really don't heal, they do, but it's so rare that I never see it happening. I mean, hunters, but come on. There's just so few instances where this gun would actually be helpful, and come to think of it, I really only have one. If you're shooting in a 4v4 scenario in the DZ or Conflict or whatever, and you prime one and your teammates take him out, it might be helpful for you to not have to worry about rezzing from the other teammates. That's like it. And setting that situation up where you realistically have a bigger advantage is kind of a nightmare. And if you're playing solo or not with your team on the map, you got spread out or something, then you're at such a disadvantage shooting the enemy with this instead of doing literally anything else. If I know the enemy is shooting at me with this gun, I don't even really care that he's doing it. If you know they're using this, I bet you can kill them before they have a chance to even put the 20 rounds in you at all. I would be more afraid of someone running up to me, meleeing me, than shooting me with this weapon in PvP. But, on the bright side, this is probably a gun that will get buffed at some point soon, right? That's my opinion on this weapon. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Maybe I'm just doing something completely and totally wrong. Like this video, it really does help me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel for future Division 2 content. That guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.